our friends now know that last year Tom Redmond and I were merchandising for King Crimson and Joe Venito and, and Steve Shapiro were with me when we went to see you in Boston. So what happened? How come you abandoned the music business and you were now back with a brand new lineup of King Crimson? In 2012, six years of dispute and wrangling with the Universal Music Group came to an end. This ending 21 years of ongoing dispute and litigation, stemming back to my former managers in 1991, <laughs> <laughs> who set a course of action in motion that took 21 years of dispute to bring to an end. That went away. Secondly, there I was at our home with my lovely wife and Willie Fed our rabbit, and I was happy. I became happy as a condition for the first time in my life around March 2011. Paradise. Paradise is wonderful. Paradise is to be earned. However, much as paradise is a wonderful place to live, nothing happens. <laughs> in other words, there is an edge of reality and necessity that is missing. Thirdly, my wife said to me, you are not dull, but you are in danger of becoming dull. <laughs> Willie Fred the rabbit said nothing. <laughs> Fourth, whenever King Crimson, whenever music appears that only King Crimson can play, Sooner or later, King Crimson appears to play the music. And fifth, on the 22nd of July, 2013, with my wife and two friends, John and Richard of Angel Eye Productions, in at the end of their garden in Vauxhall, South London, at approximately 4.15 in the afternoon, the people in the building next door began cheering. Ten minutes later, the news went public. Prince George has been born. A new, the future King of England has been born. Now, the family next door got the phone call ten minutes earlier. They must have been part of the family. Now, there we were, Richard and John and my wife talking, and I began to hold this question and look at it. If King Crimson were to perform tomorrow, what would King Crimson be? And as I looked at it, I saw the conventional back line, which is the drummers, the rhythm section, in the front line, and three of them. And then what is conventionally the front line, saxophone, guitar, singer, in the back line on a riser. And I saw each of the people that the drummers and the players would be. And I looked at this, and it stuck with me. It continued to resonate. So I saw this was possible, but I wasn't sure that I wished to take it on again. Then a month later, I made the calls. I called each of the other six men. If any one of them had said no, that would have been it. Each one of them said yes. And so King Crimson had a year to get ready for rehearsing and then going on the road, which it began last year at Albany. What would it mean to you, your career, your company, if every time you stood up in front of five, 50 or 500, in a boardroom, training center or convention hall, if you were confident, you were powerful, persuasive, professional, compelling on message and a resounding success. If you want to accelerate your career, transform sales results, develop leadership skills, or even become an in-demand, highly paid professional speaker, then Fripp Virtual Training is designed for you.
Frip VT Powerful Persuasive Presentations is my highly interactive, learn at your own pace virtual training around all area of presentations. It is almost as if I am there sitting next to you, helping. Frip Virtual Training is a multi-million dollar, state-of-the-art, web-based training platform. It is designed to closely emulate personal training and coaching. It's almost as if I am sitting with you 24-7 as your own personal speech coach and sales trainer. Sign up now, take a free trial, and experience three of our content-rich chapters. Then join and take advantage of my 30-plus years experience and in-depth study. Make the commitment to your career. Reap the benefits of Fripp VT by making it a consistent part of your personal development. You'll be glad you did.